be talking about writing and graphing equations of circles. So what we're going to look at first is your standard form of the equation of a circle, which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. And what we can get is some information. If we look at our negative h and negative k, and if we change our signs, we get the center, h and k, which are positive. So whenever we take our information from our equation, we want to switch the signs to get our center. Next, we have an r squared. Well, if we square root r squared, we get r, which is our radius. So let's use that for our equation at the bottom, x minus 2 squared plus my y, y minus 1 squared equals 4. To find the center, we look at these two numbers, negative 2, negative 1. We change the signs of both, so it's 2, comma, 1. That is a point on a graph, which is the center of our circle. Next, to find our radius, we're going to take the square root of the last number, which is 2. So our radius for this is 2. So these two pieces of information help us graph, a circle and write an equation of a circle. So let's practice finding the center and the radius. So this first one, x minus 5 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 9. To find the center, we look at these two numbers right here and here. We change their signs, so it's a positive 5 comma 3. We take the square root of the last number, which is 3, so our radius is 3. Now let's look at our next one. It's a little tricky. We don't have anything being added or subtracted to the x or the y inside of a parenthesis. So when we have something like this, our center is going to be 0, 0. We still take the square root of the last number, which is 4, so our radius is 4. Our very last one, we look at those two numbers negative 7, positive 2. We change their signs, so it becomes a positive 7, negative 2, because we changed their signs. Our last one, we're going to take the square root of 6. To graph it, we're going to round, so it's about 2.4. All right, so we're going to take all of these equations, this information, and we're going to use them to graph, okay? So let's look at our next one right here. <laughs> um, this center was 5, 3. Radius was 3. Center for this one was 0, 0. Radius 4. And this very last one, the center was 7, negative 2. Radius about 2.4. So let's graph these. Now, when we graph a circle, we're going to start with the center. So we're going to start with the blue, okay, the very first equation. So we're going to go 5, 3. That is your center of your circle. From your center of your circle, you're going to move the amount of the radius up, down, left, and right to give us the framework of the circle. So from the center, I move up 3, go back to the center, right 3. Go back to the center, down three. Go back to the center, left three. That gives us kind of the shape of the circle of what it's going to be. And we're going to connect those dots, make the best circle we can, and we have now have graphed our circle. Okay, let's do the red one. We're going to start in the center, which is zero, zero, and then we're going to move up, down, left, and right from the center four spaces because that's our radius. Our circles probably were overlapped, that's okay. So we did four all the way around. Make a nice circle there. And we've got that red one. Let's do the very last one, the green one, which is seven, negative two. And then from the center, here's seven, negative two. From the center, we're gonna move about 2.4, two and a half spaces. We're gonna approximate one, two, one, two. There we go. And then we've got our circle. So that's how you graph a circle. You graph your center first, and then you go up, down, left, right, the amount of the radius. Now what we can do now is kind of move backwards. We can start with a circle and write an equation. And to write an equation, we have to have two pieces of information. We have to have the center, and we have to have the radius. And remember our standard form and an equation of a circle. 
let's write that down. So we need our center and we need our radius. So if we look at this circle, our center is 0, 0. And our radius is 1, 2, 3. So using that information, I'm going to plug it into our standard form of an equation. So this is going to be x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 3 squared. Now we are going to simplify. Whenever we have something being subtracted by 0, we can simplify that to be just x squared plus y squared, and then 3 squared is 9. So that is our most simplified um, equation of this circle. Let's try another one. Let's look at this one. Okay, The center for this one is going to be 3, 3. And our radius is going to be 1, 2. So let's plug that into our standard form. So this is going to be x minus 3 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 2 squared, which is 4. We can do that one in our head. That's OK. All right, so we can get information from a graph to write an equation of a circle. Let's practice writing an equation of a circle just given those two pieces of information. So I've given you the center and the radius. So, and if we have a negative, remember we turn it into a positive. So this is going to be x plus 4 squared plus y squared, because we can do that if it's a minus 0, equals 7 squared, which is 49. Our next one is going to be x minus 5 squared plus y plus 2 squared, because we changed the signs, equals 0 0.16, because that's 0.4 squared. Okay, so remember, if it's a positive 5, we make it a negative 5. If it's a negative 2, we make it a positive 2. All right, our last piece is if I give you two points of a circle, can you write an equation of the circle? Well, yes, we can. But we need two pieces of information. We need the center and we need the radius. If you notice, they give us the center, which is a negative 1, 2. Okay, but they give us another point. So I'm going to sketch something to show you. Here's a circle. Here's the center at negative 1, 2. And here's the other point that they gave us, which is 2, 6, which is on the circle. Well, if we connect these two points, that gives us the radius. And we're looking for the radius to write this equation. So what we need to do is find the distance between those two points. And we can do that by using the distance formula. And remember, that's d equals the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Okay, So we're going to use the distance formula to find the radius. The first thing we have to do when we're doing distance formula is label x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. We do this so we can properly plug in. x sub 2 is a negative 1 minus 2 squared plus 2 minus 6 squared. Keep on simplifying. That gives us a negative 3 squared plus negative 4 squared. We get now 9 plus 16, which gives us a square root of 25, which gives us 5. So our radius is 5. Now that we have the center and the radius, we can write our equation of a circle. So this is going to be x plus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared, which equals 25, because we square that 5. All right, let's do one more. We're looking for our center and our radius. So let's find that out. Our center for this one is 0, 0, and we're looking for our radius using the distance formula. So we're going to label. We have x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So x sub 2, that's going to be 0 plus 1 squared plus 0 minus 3 squared. So we now have 1 squared plus negative 3 squared 
and we have 1 plus 9, which gives us the square root of 10. Now, if you get something like this that isn't a perfect squared, I want you to keep it as a square root of 10, because this is going to be a lot easier to simplify um, than a decimal. So if the center is 0, 0, this is x squared plus y squared equals the square root of 10 squared. And if we remember, if we're squaring a square root, those two things cancel out, and it just becomes 10. So our equation of this circle is x squared plus y squared equals 10.